Hey guys, welcome back. It is Eric from Eric's World here, back with update number two for my large-scale castle mock. I have done quite a bit of progress already, and it is Thursday of last week, and I am happy to say uh, that the ocean to river to... I'd, I'd say you still call that a river potentially back there, is like uh, pretty much complete other than uh, the later stages of adding detail and such to kind of cover up the little gaps between each base plate. Um, what I did for like the larger sections though, this will completely come off, but these small sections, since it's inside the mock, I wanted to make it easy to kind of just like take apart. So um, these are complete completely their own little section so I have like three I think in there and then we have the two bigger ones but one small little sliver but yes I definitely have done quite a bit of work right now uh, this is just going to be uh, the start of this video um, I'm hoping to try and get a lot more done uh, with like the outskirt bit and then start up on the rocks and then I want to move on into the interior detail before I get onto the actual first floor I'm hoping to put a um, a storage room down here for whatever I can you know potentially muster up to put in and also a um, what was it called a, a prison um, you know something else that they called it back then but you know I just cannot remember right now but uh, oh dungeon Dun dungeon prison you know something like that so um, I'm definitely gonna have like a large room in one of these base plates to have that and then like a storage room on either side you got to figure out which side that's going to be because whichever side has a ramp, I won't be able to put the uh, storage in there unless, you know, I have like tunnels going around and such. But, you know, a lot to think about with doing that. But um, at the moment, this is what I have going on. Uh, so, yeah, just like a lot of things going on, trying to get this working together as best as possible. I definitely do not have a lot of uh, blue bait, um, plates to go around this whole uh, exterior. Uh, so this like back little section, I'm probably going to have to use a different uh, type of plate. So that's probably going to be, have to be dark bluish gray, more likely, in order for that to kind of work. So I can finish that off and get into the rest of this. Um, this back a little section, I have to think of what I'm going to do with uh, the type of brick that's going to cover like this whole back uh, exterior. Because um, I definitely don't think I have enough bricks to kind of do that. Uh, I think I would probably use black for that or brown, if whichever I have the most of. But um, at the moment, I, I don't really have a large amount of brick, so I might have to order some uh, inexpensive brick to kind of cover up the uh, little um, pockets that show the uh, filler brick, you know. So that's it for right now. See you guys in a second for the next clip. Well, guys, I've gotten a lot of work done on the rock work now. I think it is almost done other than little extra details that I got to add in because I did run out of uh, slopes um, completely. So I need to order more for the next two layers of the castle, or yeah, the, the little castle island mock. So hopefully um, they are not too expensive because, uh, as you might know, uh, on BrickLink, they are very expensive. Uh, most of them, like uh, these bigger sections, can cost up to 10 plus cents each. Uh, seven cents, I think, for the uh, the version that's half that size. So it's definitely going to cost quite a bit. So hopefully it doesn't break the bank with that because I definitely need a ton for that and uh, on this side as well. But I had to use brick to fill in the little gaps. I think I did a, a pretty decent job at that. I just want to add some extra detail to make it pop a little bit more. But uh, I want to ask you guys a questions, uh, question. Sorry. What do you think about the blue plates I have down here that I put down originally? Um, to kind of put all the rocks on. I think it was a good choice to do that because uh, it kind of looks like the water has filled into the nooks and crannies of the, the rock work here. So what do you guys think about that? Uh, do you like the idea of that or should I tile it off or leave it as is? I think I should leave it as is in my opinion and add uh, some extra detail on top of that, like the bigger sections and such for um, plants and such, plant life and animals. Um, I think that'll look really nice, but um, yeah, that, that's just the question about that. And then we're going to move into the, the base section here. So I'm going to start uh, putting down some plates and such, get that all figured out, and then start up the wall. And then uh, we'll hopefully have a BrickLink order in for um, some of the slopes, get the slopes going and such, and then uh, we can build the castle. But I do have, um, or sorry, the church. Uh, can build a church. Um, hopefully going to get uh, a couple great halls in from a friend in California so that I can uh, make that happen. But right now, 
I don't have that uh, available. So that is the thing that I want to use to make the church, uh, you know, look nice. But I think I'll probably just build out the area and then build the church later on uh, in that case. But yeah, I think it's coming together pretty nice. But uh, that is it for right now. See you guys in a second for the next clip. Well, guys, it is the end of the week now. I was able to accomplish quite a bit on the mock here, as you can probably tell with uh, what it looked like last week, obviously. So I'm really pleased with the work that I was able to accomplish. I did start on the um, front gate here, and I think it's looking okay. I might revamp it maybe a little bit, add some extra details. Uh, like, I, I definitely need a ton of tiles to potentially make that even better. Because I do have quite a bit of um, modified bricks with a stud sticking out. So I do think I will use those to make that look even better. But I just wanted to get the porculus set up so that I can, uh, you know, kind of have a look at it in a way. Uh, but obviously we have the rest of the um, wall bits, you know, like uh, uh, where soldiers would hide behind or have extra protection to add later on. Uh, I just was trying to figure out the height of the wall next to it, and I'm thinking potentially raising it three bricks higher than what it is at the moment, but keeping that bottom bit, and that will be continued uh, across the way all the way down there, and the same with all the way over there. But, um, you know, I will have the little sections that the base plate uh, stops and the new one begins, so like right next to the... Um, the main gate here, we have uh, the next base plate, so you can see that little crease in there. So um, that is, you know, perfect timing for that little bit in a way. And uh, I'm glad that I was able to fit just one little window in there. And I was able to fit two little windows on this one before we're going to the next base plate over here. So that's pretty awesome. But lots to get done, uh, lots of hauls coming in this weekend, a uh, lot to sort and a lot to get ready for. I'm hoping that. I'll be able to start on the little rock wall section here soon to get that finished off. And so I can uh, figure out like, you know, how big the church will actually be up here. And also the ramp, get that uh, installed as well. Because uh, I would really like to see the second story uh, come about within this next week. I think that, or the next video, I think that would be awesome. But yeah, just uh, got a lot of extra detail to add later on, but uh, that's what it looks like right now. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.